Hi, everybody, and welcome again to University of Nebraska football. I'm Bob Weirs at Memorial Stadium in Lincoln, and this is it in the Big 8 Conference football race of 1963. The Nebraska Cornhuskers against the Oklahoma Sooners, the winner will be the Big 8 Conference champion in all likelihood. Nebraska will be the undisputed champion with the victory. Oklahoma still does have a date next weekend against interstate rival Oklahoma State. Ollie Smith is here again today to add his comments throughout the game. Ollie, we have got excellent weather as we've had all season long. Both teams apparently about ready. I think there are a few question marks physically. Undoubtedly there are, Bob, but I think both ball clubs have some boys who might not be ready to play. We don't know for certain the status of Dennis Page or Rudy Johnson. And for Oklahoma, of course, they're good left halfback, Jackie Cowan, and uh, two quarterbacks, Smith and Ringer, uh, probably won't appear in the ball game. But I think both squads have enough personnel to make up for the shortage, and we'll still have the fine ball game out here this afternoon that we're anticipating. Everyone else poised, ready to go. The Big 8 Conference officials are here. The Orange Bowl Committee, several representatives in attendance, ready to give one of these teams. We hope for our sake it will be Nebraska burst in the Orange Bowl January 1st, immediately following the game. Now let's get out of the playing field, pick up those starting lineups, and get this game underway. Down on the playing field, the two football teams are loosening up. The Oklahoma Sooners in white, Nebraska with their familiar home startup jerseys and the same colored trousers. And we're not too many minutes away from the start of this game here for the University of Oklahoma Sooners with a 7-1 and one record and with a 5-0 and oh conference mark. At left end will be number 84, John Flynn. The left tackle will be 77, Ralph Neely. At left guard, 64, Ed McQuarters. John Garrett, 50, will be at center. Newt Burton, number 65, will be at right guard. Glenn Condren, 78, at right tackle. And Rick McCurdy, number 80, will be at right end. In the offensive backfield, it will be Bobby Page, number 18, at quarterback. At left halfback, Larry Shields, the star of the victory against Missouri a week ago. Shields, number 35. At fullback, we are going to list the All-American candidate Jim Grisham, number 45. And at right halfback for the blocking back, Virgil Bowl, number 39. Now for Nebraska, and keep in mind that both teams have had some injuries, so there could be some changes. At left end, it will be Larry Tomlinson, number 83. Left tackle is Larry Kramer, 75. Co-captain John Kirby, 68 at left guard. Ron Mischke, number 54, will be at center. Bob Brown at right guard, number 64. Right tackle Lloyd Voss, number 71, and Tony Jeter, number 84, will be at right end. In the Husker backfield, it will be either Fred Duda, number 10, or possibly co-captain Dennis Farage, who has been injured at quarterback, Farage, number 14. At left halfback, number 21, Willie Ross for Nebraska. The fullback will be either 31, Rudy Johnson, or number 43, Bruce Smith. And at right halfback, it will be either 18, Bob Hahn, or number 32, Kent McClellan. Those are the probable starting lineups. We will bring you up to date on changes as soon as the game gets underway. A crowd that is going to be very close to 40,000. They shut off all ticket sales, of course, some time back. There is a lot of excitement. This is the Big A showdown between Nebraska and Oklahoma, and the kickoff is next. Nebraska will be kicking off to the University of Oklahoma. It will be Larry Tomlinson to do the booting. The deep man, Virgil Bowl on the near side, and Larry Shields towards the top, or towards the eastern side as we look at it. 49 degrees, went out of the south at about 13 miles an hour. Long boot, Shields about eight yards deep in the end zone. He's gonna run it out. He is out to the 10. He's at the 15 and hit down hard by a band of hunters. Tony Jeter was one of the Nebraskans who got down there in a hurry. Ron Mischa and Walt Barnes also were there. Barnes is swinging an arm as he goes out of fine sophomore for the University of Nebraska. For Oklahoma, Tommy Pennell will be the quarterback here, not Bobby Page. Pennell is a sophomore, number 19. Shields out far to the left. 
Flat formation for now goes to the weak side. Tries to throw. It is incomplete intended for Virgil Ball at about the 32 yard line. That backfield has Pennell, Shields, Grayson, and Ball for the University of Oklahoma. The Nebraska lineup. We will wait, of course, till the Huskers get the ball to check an offensive late. Bob Hahn, Dick Callahan, and Maynard Smith are the three deep men here for Nebraska. The Huskers in a 6 2 with the linebackers up for second down. This is Virgil Ball. Tony Jeter tries to throw him down. Lloyd Ross has got him for about a four yard loss. Back at the 11. It's a good start, Ali, and it looks like a fired up band of ball players. If they continue to move across that nickel zone as they have in these first couple plays, Bob, why I'm sure the basket will stay right with Oklahoma this afternoon. But Oklahoma's first running play, it did look like there was a mix up in the backfield. Third down now for the centers, 13 yards to go. They're back at the run 12 yard line. Ball far to the right. With McCurdy placed in the spot, Pennell back to throw over Shadow's man. He had Larry Shields open at about the 23 or 24. Maynard Smith was defending, overshot the man considerably, and it will be a punting situation for the University of Oklahoma. Rick McCurdy, their punter in 23 kicks, has averaged 30.8 yards. Of course, Joe Don Looney, the outstanding halfback, led the nation in punting last year. That, as you know, he was dismissed in the squad early in the season. McCurdy is back deep about 16 yards. He is in his own end zone about three yards or so. It is Frank Solich and Bob Hahn who are deep for Nebraska. The kick is not too long. It will bounce to take the Husker bounce, and it is down at the Oklahoma 36 yard line by Ed McWhorter. McWhorter's has played such an outstanding game against Missouri, and the Sooners won 13 to 3 a week ago down that ball. Nebraska has it at the 35 and a half of Oklahoma. Down on the sideline, Bud Wilkinson is talking with his quarterback, Tommy Pennell, who is in. Dennis Furridge is that quarterback for the University of Nebraska. Split in, wide to the right. Rudy Johnson is also in there. It is Woody Ross cutting for about three yards with Furridge leading the blocking. For Nebraska has its two backfield regulars Actually, three who have been questionable all in the starting lineup with Khan at right halfback, Clarage at quarterback, and with Rudy Jensen at fullback. Uh, it hasn't been obvious yet whether they're going to be at full efficiency, but on that first play, it didn't seem or didn't appear to have anything wrong with them. That is the backfield with Ross who carried at the left halfback position. This is Rudy Jensen. He's inside the 25 down to about the 23 and a Nebraska first down. Johnson, the team's leading ball carrier, 80 carries, 523 yards, and a 6.5 average for this senior. One of 13 playing the last game for the University of Nebraska. And incidentally, you might ask how many seniors does Oklahoma have? On their three deep shots, they have but five. Unbalanced line, strong to the right. The right end split about two yards. Rudy Johnson dies for two, maybe two and a half yards. Down to the Sooner 20. Stopped at the 20 by Ed McQuarters. They placed the ball down at the 22-yard line, and apparently his knee touched down much earlier. Was not stopped completely until they had gotten to the 20. So it is second down, and still just about 10 yards to go for Nebraska. Slot formation right. Willie Ross, the man in motion. Clary keeps, and he gets a couple of yards, and he had to get low. Leaping in from that end position, John Flynn had him in trouble. Clary did get to the 20, uh, let's call it the 20 and a half. It was John Garrett, Oklahoma co-captain, who gets credit for the tackle. One of Oklahoma's real strengths in the line are their numerous, very good defensive ends, Bob, and that was a good example. Flynn uh, was blocked, but spun off of it, and still uh, had courage in trouble. Third down for Nebraska. Still about eight yards to go. The pitch is back to Hahn, and Bob's in trouble. Back at the 23, turns the corner. He gets inside of the 20, down to the 18-yard line. 
But that is still just a pickup of only about two yards. So it is going to bring up fourth down for Nebraska, about six yards to go. And Fred Duda and Dave Tyson are coming in from the eastern sideline. That would be the field goal team for Nebraska. Tyson this year has done a good job in the place kicking department. He has kicked one field goal for the Huskers. He will try to kick the ball from the 25-yard line. That would mean it would be a 35-yard boost. The ball is spotted. The kick is long enough. It is no good, however. It is wide to the left. The kick by Dave Tyson, no good. Oklahoma holds after Nebraska had taken over on the center 35 and a half. And now Oklahoma puts it in play at its own 20-yard line. Bobby Page has gone into the game for the Sooners to call the plays on this series. Larry Shields is still in there. Virgil Ball is still in the lineup. And so is Jim Grisham. Grisham has not carried, however. He has the ball here. And he has hit at the line of scrimmage. And shoved back a yard. Roy Bass. Ron Mischa. Tony Jeter. And one other Nebraska all in on that play. Grisham does get about a half a yard. To make it second down, nine and a half. Grisham has gained 627 yards in his junior season. And he has averaged 5.3 yards per carry. Second down play. Grisham again, and he's hit. Might have gotten a yard, but he didn't get any more than that. Nebraska, in the first two series, has really been up there against the center. Nebraska's in a basic 6-2-3 defense here, Bob, and just before the ball is snapped, they do a little movement, a little stunning in the line, and so far they've been able to get through. It is third down and eight yards to go. Bull wide to the right. McCurdy in the slot. Back to throwers. Page and Roy Bosch. Senior from Magnolia, Minnesota. Russell's in down at the 10-yard line. One of those huge Nebraska linemen, Roy Bosch, and how he got in on that one. Bosch is a tremendous ball player. I know Coach Devaney feels that he rates in the caliber with Bob Brown. Uh, it was a tremendous charge he put on again, but once again, it looked like there could have been a little confusion in the center backfield. Bob Hahn and Frank Tobich are deep again. Rick McCurdy will be booting from the same spot he was in the last time, out of his own end zone. Gets it away, a low kick, bounces, and the Nebraska man, Tobich, decided at the last moment he did not want to run it back as one of the Sooners, and I believe it was Flynn, who had gotten down on him in a hurry. Flynn and Ralph Neely, a uh, hooking tackle for the Sooners, both down there. And Nebraska has the ball at the 49-yard line of Oklahoma. So for the second time, Nebraska has taken over in Sooner territory. The first time, they were able to get within field goal range, but they missed on the kicking attempt. Claridge at quarterback goes to the right side, trying to find Tony Jeter, and he overshot him by two or three yards. Jeter did have some advantage. Oklahoma's number two unit goes onto the field now. This is a number two line only. The defensive secondary stays in sack. Bull is the right halfback. Charlie Mayhew, the only returning deep man as a regular from last year at the left halfback position for Oklahoma. The linebackers are Dave Boyles and Carl McAdams. And it's Nebraska second down and 10. The right end against what about four yards. Thanks to the halfback Hahn, they try almost the same play, and again, Jeter was the intended receiver, but Tony had no chance to get up to the ball, but Flurry overthrew him. Now it will be third down and 10 for Nebraska. Flurry has not played in three weeks. Three weeks ago today would have been his last game, and he's been off target on his first throwing effort. Uh, that could very possibly be the reason, Bob. Uh, it's pretty hard to get your timing back after you've missed a few weeks. Hahn goes into the slot on the right side for Nebraska. And it's the draw play with Rudy Johnson. He is close to the first down. I do not believe that he got a first down, but he will be only a half a yard shy if he did not get it. It was Dave Boyles of Oklahoma, the right side linebacker, who made the stop on the play. for Nebraska. The Huskers have gained 26 yards rushing so far. Oklahoma has minus 11 up to this point. 
Nebraska will go for it. Fourth down, less than a yard. And it is Jensen. It was a fumble, I believe. Was there a fumble? Apparently not. Nebraska would have the first down. We saw a couple of Oklahoma linemen diving, and I thought for a moment for the ball. Bob, I was swearing we could hear that leather pop play up there in the booth, and right after he got hit, then he managed to move forward a yard or two to pick it up. At first, it appeared that he might be stopped right at the line of swimming. This is a valuable member of this one, that's your band, Rudy Johnson, and he certainly hasn't shown us so far that he has been fought up. Willie Ross, pushing away. He gets about seven, possibly eight yards inside the center, 30 at the 28. Willie Ross, who has gained 243 yards, watching coming into this game, and he has been floored by injury much of the time in the second half of the season. Average 5.3 on his carries to date. Nebraska second and two at the Sooner 28. The Oklahomans are trying to get their defense set against Nebraska. Jeter split about three yards this time. Unbalanced line to the right. Hahn carrying. Meta behind the line of scrimmage. Hahn did not get up to the line of scrimmage. Lost a yard, possibly two. We'll see when they unsack. It is going to be right about the... No, they give him... Almost back to the line of scrimmage, lost a half a yard to the 28 and a half. It will be third down, Nebraska uh, about three yards to go. The breeze out of the south at Nebraska's back, 13 miles per hour, gusting to 20 at game time. Hasn't changed much. Clarage out. Now he throws, completes the 20 Jeter for the first down at the 21. For Nebraska, it's third, first and 10 of this football game. The Huskers are at the Oklahoma 21. All of this football game has played on, has been played on the northern half of the field thus far. Nebraska has kept the Sooners in their own territory, but they have not scored. 5.49 remaining. Nebraska, Rudy Johnson, all the way down to the 10. We were watching Flurry for a moment, and he goes inside the 10 down to the 9. And Bud Wilkinson is sending in that number one unit. I think you can tell, Bob, what kind of a game this promises to be. Early in the game, we've already run the ball in a fourth down situation out at the 40-yard line. We've already thrown this ball three or four times, and in many games, that's all we have, uh, about all we've thrown it. But you can see that today, the uh, practically the entire Nebraska season depends on the outcome of this, uh, this game this afternoon. Nebraska has not had a conference championship since 1940. They will have a conference championship if they defeat Oklahoma today. The Huskers at the nine, and the number one Oklahoma line is back in the ball game. Their deep secondary stays just about intact. Man in motion, Willie Ross. And Dennis Flurry keeps trying to go in behind the hole made by his lineman on the right side. That hole was not there. John Flynn from the end cut up and dropped him at the 10, a loss of a yard, and it will be second down now. And 10 yards to go for the touchdown for Nebraska. Tony Jeter goes out. Dick Callahan comes in at right end on, on many plays, the split end position. Callahan will be split to the left about 10 yards on this play. Oklahoma sends out the man against him. Clary fumbled under center. The preliminary call is that Nebraska still has the football. Clary's recovering his own fumble at the 11. So a loss of another yard. Third down. And 11 yards to go for the touchdown. And you can imagine how tough this Oklahoma football team is when it gets in close. Oklahoma's average giving up 10.2 yards to conference opponents this year. Clary back to throw for Callahan, just out of his reach in the end zone. Callahan had gotten in behind Virgil Ball, but the pass was about a foot higher and further away than he would like for it to be. Again, Fred Duda and Dave Tyson are coming in. If they try a field goal this time, it will be from an angle at the right. Judah will hold at about the 17 and a half yard line. 
Dave Tyson will be kicking. The line of scrimmage is the 11. The ball is down. The kick is up. It is good. And with four minutes and 19 seconds remaining in the first quarter, Nebraska takes a third and nothing late against Oklahoma. Now, here's an important message from the Grand Island Elevators Integrated in Grand Island. Larry Tomlinson again will kick off for Nebraska. On his first kickoff, he boomed it into the end zone. This one is not as long. Bounces at the 20, and it goes out of bounds at the 15-yard line. Oklahoma had Lance Rental back deep, along with Larry Shields, at the goal line on the kick. Nebraska has taken an advantage, 3 to nothing against Oklahoma in the first quarter. on a 21-yard field goal by Milwaukee senior Dave Tyson. Illegal procedure against Nebraska on this. The Huskers now will be kicking from the 35-yard line. Tomlinson did not get a good boot on that one. The wind seems to be getting a little bit more brisk out of the south as this game progresses. The ball must have just about flipped off of the tee, and Tomlinson gets it ready once more. The Nebraska students back them across the way. Certainly very enthusiastic. They want the championship and the trip to the Orange Bowl. On the fly, Lance Renfro takes the ball. He's out at the 30. He is at the 35-yard line where he is hit down. John Durbin for Nebraska, and Maynard Smith, both were there. And Oklahoma will take over at the 35. This is the best field position that they have had. <laughs> Nebraska's number two line is in the ball game. White, Jones, Durbin, Fittler, McGinn, Callahan. We're not certain the right tackle is Monty Kiffin, who has been injured. This is the first time in a month or so that Monty has played. Oklahoma's ball. Bobby Page at quarterback. Grisham at fullback. The pitch is back to Lance Rental. Rental up to the line of scrimmage. Up to the 39-yard line before being hit down by Nebraska. Bruce Smith there for the Huskers. And Monty Kiffin was also in on the play. It is a pickup of four. Rental has a good average. In fact, the top one among the regulars for Oklahoma is averaged seven yards per carry. And off straight ahead, Delari Shields across the 40 to the 42. He got three more yards. The right side of the Nebraska line and the defensive man Maynard Smith coming up to help on that one, along with John Durbin. Durbin, who has been promoted by his coaches for outstanding defensive play at left guard with the alternate unit several times this year. Third down. Almost four yards to go, about three and a half for Oklahoma. Larry Shields won the block and taken out of the play. Ken McLuhan wouldn't be taken out. And the ball carrier is hit. Certainly uh, no further forwards than the line is for make. He may have lost a half a yard. And it will be fourth down for Oklahoma and almost five yards to go. Rudy Johnson is returning to the Nebraska lineup. Bruce Smith is going out. Foley and... McLuhan will be deep on this one. McCurdy will be kicking for the third time. Kicking into the wind, of course, in the first quarter. Gets the kick away. Solich waits for it at the 30. One Oklahoma man eludes him, but the second one, Al Bumgarner, doesn't let him get away, and he is hit down at the 32. Nebraska takes over for its third series of the game, and the Huskers are back in their own territory for the first time. And Fred Duda is coming in to call the plays for Nebraska. Willie Ross is at left halfback. Kent McLuhan is at right halfback. I believe Rudy Johnson still at fullback. That is the situation. Chuck Depke is the split right end for Nebraska. Two minutes and five seconds remaining opening quarter. Duda to throw. It is complete to McLuhan. He's on his feet at the 40. He's up to the 45. Still on his feet, driving to the midfield. What a display by Kent McLuhan. Tremendous activity going on out there on the field today, Bob. Uh, this team certainly is an inspired ball club, and uh, we know that Oklahoma is a fine ball team. And before this after, uh, before this day is over, we will have certainly seen a real good game. 
Nebraska's ball first and ten. Fred Duda at quarterback, unbalanced line, strong right. Rudy Johnson has got three, maybe four yards, pounding his way up the middle to the Oklahoma 46-yard line. For Oklahoma, John Garrett and Dave Boyle both get up from the bottom of the sack. The Huskers have had five first downs. Oklahoma does not have a first and ten thus far. Nebraska's gained 50 yards rushing, 26 in the air. Oklahoma is minus five rushing. They have not completed a pass. Duda gives to McLaurin. McLaurin down to the 45, twisting to the 42. And Kent on the first two times we've seen him with his hands on that football has run harder than we've seen him go all year. John Porterfield for Oklahoma. Another of the fine return right of an end that Bud Wilkinson has was in on that play. Oklahoma had probably a better end situation than any other position at the start of this football campaign with five returning letterman. At the 42 for the Huskers, it is third and two. Duda keeps. He has the first down. Fred Duda, the fine sophomore quarterback from Chicago, 185 fighter. How he has won the hearts of these Nebraskans. John Garrett stopped him. Nebraska's sixth first down. Duda's average 3.2 yards. He has gained 154 yards rushing in this game. In this season, we should say. Incidentally, Nebraska has 10 backs who have gained 100 yards or more rushing. And the gun sounds ending the first quarter of play with Nebraska leading Oklahoma 3 to nothing. Side of the second period of action. Nebraska up to the line of scrimmage, then the officials send them back to the huddle for a moment. Nebraska has made one change, and the alternate club that is in there, Mike Kennedy, a sophomore from Omaha, has come in replacing John Durbin at left guard. Alex? It will be a little tougher going, of course, this quarter, Bob, because now Oklahoma has the wind to their back, and Nebraska will be driving into it. And actually, uh, there are, uh, at least at times, gusts which uh, must be up around 20 miles an hour. Nebraska has a first down as we start the second quarter. Now, let's see. The chain gang has placed the chains at the 37-yard line. And Nebraska has lined up where the officials have placed the ball at the 42-yard line. So there is an important difference of opinion of five yards as we get ready to start the second quarter of action. There is time out on the field, and the score is Nebraska 3, Oklahoma nothing. The ball has been placed at the 42. Again, the officials are coming in and calling for time. And now they're coming to the Oklahoma side of the field to talk with one of the coaches. This is the side of the second quarter of action. One of the officials, the referee, is being called over to the telephone down in the field, and we trust this talking perhaps to the commissioner of the Big Eight Conference or to the chief official up in the press box. This is strictly a disagreement, Bob, between the officials on the field in moving the ball and those on the sideline. And the sideline markers were correct. The referee had uh, uh, failed to allow uh, five yards that should have been given there. So now the ball is placed in the proper position. As you can see, the officials stepped off five yards to the advantage of Nebraska, moving that ball to the 38. It's first and 10, Nebraska in Oklahoma territory. Duda, at quarterback, gives to Rudy Johnson, hit by a stone wall, but he got two, maybe three yards before being shot back. Carl McAdams, a white deer Texas sophomore, in for Oklahoma on the stop there. And Rudy Johnson seems to have been re-injured. He has had a foot injury after being stepped on. Bruce Smith is coming into the backfield. This will be a decided blow to the Nebraska offensive cars should Johnson be injured and have to leave the game and not be able to return because he has done such a fine job not only today but all season long. And listen to the hand as Johnson is helped off by the Nebraska trainer. Again, we take time out here with the score rating Nebraska 3, the Oklahoma Sooners nothing. 
Bruce Smith is a new Nebraska fullback. He has also gained better than 100 yards rushing. He's at fullback and blocking on this play as Kent McClellan moves inside of the 35, down to the 30, and possibly to the 29-yard line. This was the second down and seven play for the Nebraska Cornhusker. Carl McAdams has been doing quite a job. Number 51 is the linebacker for Oklahoma, was the man who gets credit for this stop. They spot the ball just inside the Oklahoma 30, and it is third down and about a yard and a half of the Nebraska first down. The Huskers have six. The Sooners do not have any so far in this game. Duda gives it off to Willie Ross. Ross is losing about five, six yards, perhaps. And Willie is now rolling on the turf. Nebraska has just lost Rudy Johnson. Now Willie Ross is having trouble getting up to his feet. Dave Tyson has come in to the lineup. Let's see. Uh, Tyson is coming out onto the field now as the Huskers call for an official timeout, which is sure still Nebraska 3 and Oklahoma nothing. After that loss by Willie Ross, Nebraska is pulling for the first time. And it is Dave Tyson kicking from about his own 47. Kicks it into the wind. A fair catch at the 11-yard line by Wes Kidgel of the University of Oklahoma. And the Sooners play it from their 11. Ali Nebraska's had a couple of injuries here, but uh, if these boys get back in, it'll be a big difference. What have you been able to see on the sideline? Oh, well, uh, Rudy Johnson appeared to have a little limp and favoring his foot uh, even during the time he was in, Bob, and I think Willie Ross uh, will be all right in just a minute. Oklahoma with a man sent far to the right. This is Bobby Page rolling for two or three yards before being cut down by Nebraska. Chuck Jepke was there for the Huskers. Maynard Smith was there, and the third man in on the play was Lyle Sippler. Oklahoma gets just two yards, and it will be second down and eight. In the first quarter, Oklahoma had a net rushing of minus five yards. Nebraska had 58 yards. And the Sooners again are set up. This is Virgil Ball. Monty Stephen and Freeman White third down. White on the stop back at the six yard line. And this Nebraska defense has really been outcharging the Sooners. And, and this is a mighty tough pass to do. We gave credit to the Oklahoma Sooners six fine ends early in the ball game. Uh, it appears as if we should say something about the fact that Nebraska has some fine defensive ends also. Third down and about 15 yards to go for Oklahoma. Page gives it off to Jim Grayson. He gets back to the 10, the 11, possibly the 12-yard line. So that would be a pickup of about six for Grayson before Marty Chippen stopped in. This Lexington senior playing his last regular season game for Nebraska is doing a fine job of the alternate unit, and he hasn't played in a month. Now it's fourth and ten for Oklahoma. Kent McClellan and Frank Sobic are deep for the Huskers. Rick McCurdy will be kicking out of his own end zone for the third time today. His fourth kick, but he has the win at his back, and he booms one out. Foley at the Huster 45, trying to pick up blocking. He's in midfield. He's down at the Oklahoma 47-yard line. And Charles Schreiner took him down at the 47. Schreiner is from Midland, Oklahoma, and another one of the outstanding sophomores for the center. You noticed on that punt that Nebraska didn't send their men through. Rather, they set up a wall over here on the west sideline, but Foley wasn't quite able to get to the uh, lane that they had set up. Dave Tyson is coming in with the offensive backfield for the first time. Duda is still at quarterback. Bruce Smith is the fullback, and Ken McCoon is the right halfback. So the two injured men, Johnson and Ross, have now returned at least for now. McClellan out on the spot. Duda is back to throw. He's got two men deep, but it's intercepted by Oklahoma. This is Larry Shield to intercept, returns to the 37-yard line, and then is down by Bob Jones. Shield, you will recall, was the hero of that Oklahoma victory last week against Missouri as he scored both touchdowns, including one on a run of about 65 yards with a punt. The Sooners have asked for a timeout. With 10 minutes and 19 seconds remaining in the first half, and the score, Nebraska 3, Oklahoma nothing. Oklahoma's ball at 
the center 37. First and 10 for the Sooners. After an interception, Bobby Page recovering his own fumble. Bob Jones right on top of him. Page is an end at the quarterback position for the Sooners. With the exception of the opening series when Tommy Pennell was the signal cover. Incidentally, in going back to that interception, it was the seventh Nebraska pass that has been intercepted, the fourth thrown by Fred Duda this year. Page gives off, and the Oklahoma ball carrier moves up to the 40. From the 37, which was the original line, or about the 36-yard line, we should say, Maynard Smith made the tackle for the Huskers. And it's third and seven for Oklahoma. Nebraska again making some late defensive changes here against the Sooners. Larry Shields is looking perhaps for someone to throw to, and he's got down behind the line of scrimmage by Nebraska. That was Bruce Smith, I believe, who went across the field for Nebraska. And also in on the third uh, by Nebraska, we're looking for his number right now, was Gary Bukacic. That play came as a result of real fine pass defense. They were running to the right, going to throw back over here to the west sideline, but the man was well covered, and he had to run with the ball. Shields has thrown but twice this year. A fumble here by the kicker, tries to kick it, doesn't get a long bit away. Nebraska fumbles the ball now. It'll be a loose scramble, and we'll see Oklahoma may have recovered. I believe they did. Nebraska and becoming a little bit over enthusiastic and seeing the Oklahoma punter fumble that ball. Tried to get the loosely bouncing football fumbled in Oklahoma recovered. Someone is down. It may be Big Bob Brown of Nebraska. I'm not certain. He's got the glasses on it. We'll see who the injured man is for Nebraska. Down on his knees and the trainers out administering help. The Huskers have taken a physical beating here. It is Bob Brown of Nebraska who is down. The Huskers huge 269 pound right guard or so we are told probably 273 pounds now and about 10 pounds more when he gets his football gear on. Oklahoma will have the football when play resumes and 8 minutes and 12 seconds remaining before the half and the Huskers are out in front straight to nothing. Bob Brown stays in the ball game. In fact, he was in with the alternate club, and the number one line is back in for Nebraska. Oklahoma has the ball at its own 45-yard line. Hand off inside again. Nebraska for Cruz is tackling a fumble, and we'll see who's got this loose ball. We'll wait for the official signal. It is Nebraska's football at the Oklahoma 49 for Darabas. One of the last men to get up, Larry Kramer. Bob Brown was there also. I believe Kramer may have been the man who recovered the fumble. So the Huskers get a break of their own. And at the 49-yard line, they have possession of the football. Dennis Burridge is in at quarterback. The line is unbalanced to the right. Smith, Smith, and Hahn in the backfield. This is Bob Hahn, the losing one man. But he gets only a half a yard or so. Uh, someone from the right side of Oklahoma's line didn't want to be taken out of that one. I believe that was Boyle, who has been doing quite a job, coming up from the linebacker's position for the Sooners. Rudy Johnson is running on the eastern sideline along the Husker bench and perhaps about ready to return to the lineup. Willie Ross appeared also when we were looking at him through the glasses a moment ago not to be in bad shape. The double wing for Nebraska. And they pulled the draw play for a second time, but this time Oklahoma was looking for it. Bruce Smith got only a yard. Ralph Neely of Oklahoma was in on the play. Neely, a hard-nosed football player, 243 pounds, and a junior for the Sooners. Neely has to be a tremendous ball player, Bob. Uh, he was voted the Outstanding Lineman Award in their alumni varsity game last year, and we know their alumni has some great football players. Third and nine for Nebraska. So we'll look for the pass here. Clinton, Clary, got to the weak side. Throws it is complete, but not for the first down. The man who got the pass. He's run out of bounds. That was Larry Tomlinson. He was taken out by a Lance Rinsel. 
Tomlinson as eight receptions now for the year. Nebraska fourth down and about three yards to go. At the Oklahoma 42-yard line, six minutes, 20 seconds, showing on the scoreboard clock in this, the second period of play. Clarage will be punting for Nebraska. Oklahoma has shields deep at his five in single safety. Clarage gets it off the side of his foot, and he better get over and cover that ball. A loss of yardage. A loss of about eight yards. And if Oklahoma would have had someone uh, from that line very alert, they'd have had six points. It looked like it, Bob, because after Clarage uh, punted, he fell down. I don't know whether he's protecting his leg or just what happened there, but there wasn't anybody around the ball over here, and the Oklahoma man could have uh, really gone. This may still turn into an Oklahoma break there in Nebraska territory. This is Jim Grisham, and he was breaking loose from several would-be tacklers and moving down to the Husker 40-yard line, picking up about seven yards on the play. This is the Grisham we have heard so much about and the Grisham we saw last year against Nebraska. Oklahoma sends in its alternate line. Nebraska takes time with 5.32 remaining in the half, and Nebraska still out in front, three to nothing. Larry Shield fly to the left for the University of Oklahoma. Bobby Page hands it off up the middle. The centers don't get the first down, but they did get a yard or so, and this was just a second down play. Jim Grisham hitting into the line and moving to the Nebraska 39-yard line. Instead of the Husker line in on the play, this is the number one Nebraska club. Smith and Kirby, the linebackers right now for Nebraska. Page keeps. Takes off for one man. I believe he has the first down at about the 36-yard line. The officials will watch it closely. From where it is spotted, just inside the 37. And they say it's close enough for a measurement. This is the final regular season game for Nebraska. The Huskers are 8-1. They've won 17 games in the last three in the two years that Bob Devaney has been the head coach here in Lincoln. Oklahoma first down by a couple of feet. And that is the first, first and ten of the afternoon for the center. Oklahoma has gained but seven yards in the total offense department. Nebraska has gained 94 at this point. The Husker defense has been terrific up to this point, but they've got their hardest score of the day. They went after Grisham. Page is back to throw. He is just about at the line of scrimmage. Gets in five, three or four yards, but we'll see where he steps out of bounds. It's going to be right at about the 35-yard line, so he didn't get much from the line of scrimmage. Grisham was teed by several of the Huskers inside, but the secondary must have blanketed any receivers that Bobby Page was looking for. They did a good job again in the secondary and having him covered, and Page finally had to run, then uh, the pursuit caught up with him. He only gained a yard. The Oklahoma ends are John Porterfield and Alan Bumgardner. From between them, caught three touchdown passes last year against Nebraska. This is Larry Shields, and he got just about 10 yards, or just about nine yards, we should say, and close to another first down for the centers at the Husker 26. Once more, the officials are going to bring the chains in. As we told you in a hurry, John Porterfield, who was at left end, caught two touchdown passes against Nebraska last year. Al Bumgardner, who is at right end, caught one scoring pass. And it's a first and ten for Oklahoma. The Sooners, you'll recall, took over at the Nebraska 47 after a Dennis Ferry punch that actually lost about eight yards. Ferry for the year has averaged 34.6 on his route. He's had some difficulty at times, and of course he has not played in three weeks, as we told you earlier. One of the Oklahomans and the Porters has lost a helmet strap, I believe. I was just going to mention, Bob, that uh, McWhorter is having some headgear trouble, and uh, it's interesting to note in his case that he is the uh, second Negro boy, I believe, to earn a letter at Oklahoma U, the other one being Prentice Gott a few years back. And God, of course, is a great All-American for Oklahoma. First and ten inside the Nebraska 30. The handoff is to Rentsel, who is in at right halfback now, and he moves down to the 22-yard line. Rentsel down to the 22 for a pickup of five. Bruce Smith in on the play for Nebraska. 
Shields, Grayson and Rental behind Page in the backfield. Porterfield is split to the left. Inside, this is Shields trying to get outside. Tomlinson gets about in, stops him after a gain of about two. And credit Larry Tomlinson with a good job on that one. Uh, it's very obvious that Oklahoma is doing a good job of quarterbacking out there. They've been un unable to go with single handoffs and straight ahead, so now they've been reversing uh, their plays quite a bit. They're down at the 20, and it's third down, four yards to go for the centers. This time it is Shields, who is flanked wide to the left. Our uh, Oklahoma man will take the quarterback just before he got rid of the ball. Then John Kirby, red dogging, with the blitz on, came up and down Lance Rensel back at the 25. Actually, at almost the 26 yard line. Now Kirby goes out after turning in that play. Durbin replaced him. German, the Oklahoma extra point man, the place kicker is in the lineup. He will be trying a field goal to try the game from the 32. The wind behind him. The kick is not going to be long enough. It goes out of the end zone. It is off to the right and short. The fans love it with 2.53 remaining here. Nebraska's still out in front by a field goal margin, and the Huskers will take over at their 20-yard line. And we'll watch closely here as the Nebraska backfield lines up. Dennis Sturridge is coming in at quarterback for the Huskers. We can see Bruce Smith in the backfield. Bob Hahn is in there. Check that. That is not Smith that we're looking at. Oklahoma is going to try to get their equipment problems taken care of as George Stoke and Ed McWhorters have both come over to the sideline. We have just been handed the attendance for this ball game. This apparently is official. 38,000. 485, somewhat below expectation. The record, apparently just now official also against Kansas, 40,106. There's a real fine crowd here, however, Bob, and I imagine it's tempered some by the death of our president, uh, Mr. Kennedy. I am certain that that would be true. And respect have been paid here before the start of this game will be again at halftime. 2.53 remaining here in the first half, Oklahoma and Nebraska. Huskers leading on a first quarter field goal by Dave Tyson by a score of three to nothing. If Nebraska can pick up a first down here, they would probably be able to hang on to the ball and run out the first half if they so desire. There have been so many exchanges and unusual situations that this, this quarter there have only been two first and, uh, first, first and tens, and those both by Oklahoma. Then as far as keeps for Nebraska, gets past the 20 to the 21, and that's just about all the further that he was able to go. So it's second and nine for Nebraska. John Kirby is coming back in. Oh, no, he started on the field. Don't know whether he's going to come in there or not. Certainly a lot of confusion on this one. Kirby started onto the field, replacing John Durbin for Nebraska. The Huskers had one timeout remaining. Oklahoma has one remaining in the half also, and apparently one will have to be taken by Nebraska here. We'll remind you once more that the score is Nebraska 3 and the Sooners nothing. Nebraska has been penalized five yards. And they for delay of game, there was some confusion as they tried to get the substitution in. It is second down about 13 for Nebraska. Courage in the reverse gives out to Bob Hahn. He tried to get a block from Tomlinson. He turns the corner at the 20, out to the 25, the 27 yard line, and taken out of bounds on the far side of the field. That was second down for Nebraska. And a play we have not seen the Huskers so much. They reversed, gave to the right halfback, Hahn. Now they had two blockers up front. One of those was Larry Tomlinson. Dick Callahan comes in now at right end. Replacing Tony Jeter. Third down, two yards to go. They spotted the ball at the 28. 
Just under two minutes remaining in the first half. Hahn, the man in motion. Clearly, Chief has the first down. It's a 35 to 36. He batted heads with one of the Oklahomans, John Garrett, and bowled him over and kept going. And he has the first down at the 36 yard line. Nebraska now with the seventh first down of the game, but only at first of the quarter. The Huskers have gained 84 yards rushing now to 18 for Oklahoma, but they lead by just three points. The fullback, Bruce Smith, pushing up to the 40. That means about four yards. Oklahoma's Larry Vermillion, one of the co-captains, Ian Garrett of the co-captains of the club, and Vermillion gets credit for, for the initial contact here. Larry Kramer goes out of the Nebraska lineup at left tackle. Huskers have been alternating some players, making quite a few changes between their lines. Courage is back to throw. Maybe going to try to... He's going deep. He's got Dick Callahan out there. And he dropped the ball at about the 22-yard line. Nebraska's been getting that step advantage on the Oklahoma defenders here. This is the first time we've seen a long one. But this time, Callahan got in behind Charlie Mayhew, who, as we told you earlier, was the only regular returning to the deep secondary for the Sooners. It was a tremendous effort, Bob, and Callahan had gotten in behind, but uh, throwing into that wind, actually, the ball was a little short. We had thought perhaps along the way, Nebraska might try to go for that bomb. Less than a minute remaining. Farage is going to try to throw again, but he is going to be brought down this time behind the line, back at the 35-yard line. That was George Stokes for Oklahoma, a two-year veteran from Medill, Oklahoma. One of the few seniors on the club, and incidentally, he is majoring in radio and television in college down at Norman. Fourth down for the Huskers. Courage comes out. That means Tyson will be the man who will be in the punt. Oklahoma has taken time out here, so they will force Nebraska to punt. Otherwise, I think the time might have ran, might have ran out. And there is time out. And that is the final Oklahoma timeout of the half with the score Huskers three and the Sooners nothing. Dave Tyson will be back to punt from his own 23. The Huskers will try to stay away from a long run back by Oklahoma. He kicks it into the breeze, gets a pretty fair boot away. Four catch signal for it, and the Oklahoma man fumbled, but he did recover. That was Lance Rentrell inside of his own 30 at about the 27 yard line. The Sooners will put it in play with 20 seconds remaining. As we told you, they do not have any fans out remaining. They'll try to get a play off in a hurry. They line it up. And they pass incomplete to stop the clock. Intentional grounding is signified. The quarterback, Page, had one spot in mind, and that was stopping that clock. It is now stopped with 12 seconds remaining. The Sooners are penalized back deep. See where the referee spots it down. Earl Jansen of Illinois, incidentally, our referee today, down at the 14-yard line. So Oklahoma may try to go with a couple of long passes. <laughs> Boy, we are having our troubles and getting set on where to take it. They stepped off 15 yards first. Now they change their mind. Step off only five to the 22. Second down it is for Oklahoma. They reverse. This is Lance Rentrell who would like to throw it left-handed if he could. He's still running around trying to lose the Nebraska tacklers. Gets up to the 25. Hit down hard and time has run out now. And as the team heads to the dressing room at the end of the first half of this tremendous Big 8 football showdown, the Nebraska Cornuskers are leading Oklahoma 3 to nothing. Into the wind, George German with a boot that goes to the 30 yard line, and the Nebraska ball carrier is taken out of bounds at about the 31. That was Larry Tomlinson, and he didn't have much chance to return it. He caught the ball at the 30, was taken out by virtual ball at the 31. 
Nebraska will have the wind at its back here as we sight the second half of play with the Huskies leading three to nothing. But Oklahoma will have the wind advantage the second half, the fourth quarter. Courage at quarterback for Nebraska. This is Bruce Smith for about six, seven yards, right up the middle, going over the right yard to be honest about it, out to the 38 yard line. He gained about seven on the play. Nebraska has in that backfield, along with Farage, I believe Ross is at the left hand back position. He is for the first time since being injured. Rudy Johnson still not in, though. And Bob Hahn is at right half back. The right end is split. This is Ross. Ross up to the 39, trying to squirm loose for the first down, but he couldn't. He got a yard. He is two yards shy. For Oklahoma, Dave Boyles was one of the men at the bottom of the pile. It will be third and two for Nebraska. In the first half, the Huskers, 83 yards rushing, 32 passing for 115 yards in total offense. Oklahoma, 28 yards rushing, no yards passing. And it would appear that Nebraska is well on its way to setting a new school record in the rushing defense department. Bruce Smith hit it the line of scrimmage and then advancing forward close to that first down and uh, real early in the second half, this will be important to watch. Bob, that was real fine second effort for anybody that could see that play. Uh, Bruce Smith hit with stop, spun, and uh, managed to move forward to where that loose is very close to the first and ten if he doesn't have it. They are bringing the chains in from the far side. Some of the other official first half statistics, Nebraska 7 first down, 2 for Oklahoma. The Sooners 0 for 3 in passing. Nebraska 3 for 8 with one pass intercepted. It is a first down, as you could see. This is number 8 in the game for the Huskers. Nebraska punted three times, Oklahoma five times. The Huskers averaged 17 yards, but remember they had one for a minus of about eight yards. Oklahoma averaged 27 yards, but had several of their kicks into the wind. Spot right for Nebraska. Clary to throw, and he completely threw that one away, trying to hit Bob Hahn, just short of the midfield spot. Courage in the times that he has thrown, and this would be his seventh time with two completions today. He has overthrown his target on several occasions. As Holly Smith and I were talking about earlier, perhaps some of the reasons for this the fact that he has not played in some time. Second down for Nebraska. Ten yards to go. Hester's in their own territory. Willie Ross is walking up front. He's at the 45. He's at midfield. Down to the Oklahoma 49. Ross running hard behind a power of blocking, and he had about four men to lead the way. It was real interesting to, get, uh, to hear that comment, Bob, because we often watch the ball carriers, and so often uh, they wouldn't go anywhere if it wasn't for the tremendous blocking up ahead. And the Nebraska's back and pulling linemen are both uh, are all capable of doing real fine upfront blocking. Third down, Nebraska one yard shy of a first and ten at the Oklahoma 49-yard line. Full house backfield, the right end split from three to four yards. Bruce Smith, he did not get back to the line of scrimmage. Smith at fullback, and this is where you could really use a man like Rudy Johnson and take nothing away from Smith, but this Johnson has shown some tremendous power. He was easily the leading rusher in the first half, seven carries for 41 yards, and he did not play but about half of that first half of action. Farage goes out of the line up tight and is in the punt. Lyle Sittler is in replacing Ron Mishka to center the ball. Oklahoma makes a late change and Charlie Mayhew comes out of the lineup. Tyson will kick from his 37. Good pass from center. A good kick away with the win. Shields waits for it. Drops the ball at about the 10. It's loose to Dr. Hatcher's good ball. At the 15, that was Bob Brown, no, Roy Bart of Nebraska. Lloyd Boss, I believe, will recover. And the oranges are being thrown from all over here onto the field. In anticipation, a little bit early at this point, of a Husker victory that would send them to the orange ball. Nebraska's ball at the 15. What a break this one could be. I noticed, Bob, that they have put Rudy Johnson back in at the fullback post now, too. And this could be important. Willie Ross driving. Look at him go down to about the six or the seven. 
Johnson, Ross, and Hahn behind Quarridge in the backfield. And Nebraska knows that this is the quarter it really needs to score, too. At the seven, it will be second down and two yards to go for a first down. The man who fumbled that ball, we may have said Shields, it was Lance Wentzel of Oklahoma. Tony Jeter split to the right side. Nebraska's getting quiet from the crowd. Of course, a partisan home crowd. Dennis Curry for the first down, down to the four-yard line. There was a penalty flag thrown, so hold everything. I hate to say it, but this is about the place we've gotten that offensive holding several times this year. And that's a 15-yarder. And that's exactly what it is. Just when Nebraska would have had a first and goal to go, they now have a 15-yard penalty. I move back to the 19-yard line. And we'll try it from there. Callahan replaces Jeter at right end. Nebraska has been penalized 25 yards in the game. Oklahoma 5. This is the first major penalty of a contest. It is second down and 14 from the 19. The backfield remains the same. Sorry, back to throw. Looks deep. He hits Tomlinson at the 8-yard line. Charlie Mayhew stopped him, but Tomlinson made the reception his second of the day. The most important reception of the entire day, down at the 8th, uh, at the 7, rather. And actually, just inside of Edward is third and two for Nebraska. Callahan will go wide right. Flurry just for quiet and gets it. He gives to Johnson. He's at the five. He should have the first down. At the four-yard line. And no penalty on this one. This is where Courage was from two plays ago. It's first and goal to go. Bob, this uh, boy, Rudy uh, Johnson, must have tremendous courage because you see him now. He limps when he comes back to the huddle, but when you give him the, block, or the ball, or when he's called on the block, he's just doing a great job. I would guess the Nebraska coaches feel that they can get some more service out of him, but not full time, and they want it for a key situation, which this is. Courage sneaking maybe to the two-yard line. This was first and goal to go from the four. He might have been able to eat up half of that distance on that particular play. It is actually inside the two at the one and a half. And Nebraska will have three more tries. The Huskers are leading three to nothing. We have nine minutes remaining in this third period. So this game is a long way from being over, regardless of what happens. A yard and a half away. This is second down. This is Rudy Johnson. He's in for the touchdown. thought the oranges were going onto the field earlier, you should see them being thrown onto the field now. In anticipation, as we mentioned, of a orange bowl bid for the Huskers. The score is nine to nothing. Nebraska trying to clear the oranges away so they can try the extra point attempt. Fred Duda, who will hold the ball, picks one up and heaves it off of the field. And there is now being a public dress announcement appeal for the fans to refrain from throwing anything onto the field as a sportsmanship measure. Dave Tyson will be trying to convert. He has kicked 14 out of 19 extra points in this game, and the Huskers will now go back into the huddle. Nebraska swept 15 yards for this touchdown. They started at the 15, we should say, moved into the 4, then were penalized back to the 19 on a holding penalty. A pass to Tomlinson at the 7, moved the Huskers close to the first down, then Courage and Johnson got them in with Rudy going over. Due to hold, ball spotted, kick is in, and it is good. And with 8.47 remaining in this, the third period, it is Nebraska 10, Oklahoma nothing. Larry Tomlinson will kick off for Nebraska. Oklahoma has 
two deep men at about the two yard line. A long kick. Lance Rental waits for it at the two. Freeman White down, tips him up, doesn't stop him though. He bashes his head with a Nebraska Maynard Smith, I believe. Smith doesn't get up. Down goes Rental at the 24 yard line. Maynard Smith of Nebraska may be shaken up on that one as he really crashed head on into Rental or vice versa, you care. It's always difficult to tell, Bob. Uh, you never know. Many times a boy is uh, just shaken up momentarily and he has a few cobwebs or a little wind knocked out of him or something. However, Maynard Smith did uh, uh, really make good contact there. You just can't tell for sure. There is time out on the field here in the third period. Nebraska waiting 10 to nothing. Now an important message from Grand Island Elevators Incorporated in Grand Island. Maynard Smith is being helped off and around towards the Nebraska bench by the trainers. Oklahoma piled up at about the line of scrimmage. They got a yard or so. That was Larry Brown, the fullback, running here for the first time on offense, carrying the ball for the first time. Brown, who did quite a job against Missouri a week ago, replacing Gresham. Monty Kiffin is doing a tremendous job out here. I think he's just been waiting a month to get back in that ball game. This is Brown again across the 25, down at the 27. He had gained a long yard on the first play. This will bring up a third down and about six yards to go for Oklahoma. Third, let's count it, five to go. So Brown has gained five and two tries. Nebraska would like nothing better than to hold here and get that ball back. Oklahoma sends a halfback wide to the left. This is Rental. He kept walking up front. He lost the football. And he gets only about two yards before being taken down. Rinsel was the man who had fumbled the punt that set up the Nebraska score. He seemed to have this ball for a moment. I don't know exactly what did happen on this play. He had good blocking up front. No one crushed through for a moment, then he lost the ball. The defensive end, Bob, came in from behind those blockers and grabbed an arm and tore that ball loose. So Rick McCurdy will kick. Into the wind with fourth and three for Oklahoma. Nebraska twin safeties around its own 40. They put the rush on. The kick is high. The Nebraska man is not going to try to run it back. Oklahoma will down the ball at the 46-yard line. <laughs> this is in Husker territory where Nebraska will take over. Nebraska at its own 46. Oklahoma making some defensive changes. The Huskers some offensive changes. Fred Duda is a quarterback. It's Ross, Johnson, and McLuhan at right halfback now for Nebraska. Duda gives to Rudy Johnson up to midfield and to the center, 49. Johnson just running straight ahead. He is a senior. From down in the Southlands and South of Rancis, past Texas, and what a senior year he has had. He had been mentioned at the start of the year and last spring as possibly bringing a utility back, playing either a halfback position or a fullback. Been a fullback all year and when healthy has done a tremendous job. Right halfback goes in motion. Willie Ross is keyed and hit at the line of scrimmage. Lost a yard, possibly two. I believe they'll spot it right about the 50 yard line. For Oklahoma, Jerry Goldsby was in on the play. I believe he made the first contact. John Porterfield from the left end also was there. Goldsby is playing at the left tackle position and had started some ball games, but was not a starter today. Oklahoma made four up front changes at the start of this week. Duda goes right, passes. Incomplete in and out of the arms of Freeman White. A Detroit sophomore playing with the alternate club for Nebraska. The Husker alternates are in. So Nebraska had the ball there for three plays. They'll be punting now with fourth and about six. And five minutes and 39 seconds remaining in the third period. Nebraska leading by 10 points. For Oklahoma, it's either Rental or Ball as the deep man. Mayhew is back. One other man back. Tyson booms this one out. And it goes into the end zone. Hit it about the two and rolled on through the end zone. So it'll be a touchback, and Oklahoma will play the ball first and ten from its own 20. The Sooners again will have Bob Page at quarterback. He is the man who understudied Marty Deer, who was saluted in the touchdown pass department against Nebraska a year ago. 
Rento is the right halfback for the center. We'll see whether Grisham is in, or it is Larry Brown at fullback. And Larry Shields is the flanker wide to the left for the center. This is Larry Brown moving through to the secondary, lost the ball. It's still loose, Nebraska has it. At the 31-yard line, John Durbin. A 20-year-old junior from Chicago. And again, this Durbin turns into a hero, at least for the moment, for Nebraska. The Huskers at the OU 31. One thing about fumbles, Bob, uh, they're very seldom uh, just fumbles. Those are caused, and Nebraska's really doing a good job at uh, hitting these Oklahoma backs. Wise in motion, due to fakes to Smith, who's at fullback, keeps the ball, hits inside of the 30 to the 28, picking up about three yards. Rudy Johnson is out for a, a breathing spell. Dick Callahan will come in at end for Nebraska. Chuck Depke was in there, goes out. And there is time out on the football field. At four by Oklahoma with 4.46 remaining in the third period. Nebraska 10, Sooners nothing. Nebraska second down and seven. Due to the throw, it is incomplete. Paul McAdam had it on his fingertips, couldn't hang on to it. Tried for the second Sooner interception of the day. <laughs> And for Nebraska, it will be third down. Rudy Johnson returns to the lineup. Bruce Smith comes out. Nebraska in this game, unofficially, but quite accurate, 127 yards rushing, 44 in the air. The Sooners, 20 yards rushing, nothing in the air so far. Willie Ross, twisting, as he got his nickname inside the 25 to the 24-23. A fumble and Oklahoma recovered on this play. So this time he's the Nebraska bid, gives the Sooners the ball at the 24. Oklahoma's ball and they started off in a hurry with Larry Brown up to the 30 yard line. This Brown has been carrying primarily here in the second half when the Sooners have had the ball. We haven't seen Grisham in the second half. Of course, he's had a bad ankle. He didn't play much the second half against Oklahoma. Second down, a long five for the Sooners. Virgil Bull wide right. A fumble, and Nebraska has it again. Chuck Jepke was one of the last men to get up, but I do not know whether it was he who recovered. Oklahoma has fumbled five times and lost the ball on four occasions. Nebraska itself has fumbled three times, lost the ball twice. Dave Tyson, he is throwing, and it is incomplete. With a hand on the ball, Kent McLuhan. McLuhan and Callahan were both down on the pattern, but Kent couldn't hang on to the football. There are 13 Nebraska seniors in their last varsity game. And on Tactically, to the last man, they are quite instrumental, but either the regular unit, the number one unit, or the alternate club. Walt Barnes replaces Sittler at the offensive center position, second and ten for Nebraska. Duda gives it out to McClellan. He'll see if his feet can get him outside. At the 30, to the 25, to 24. At the 24, he was hit down. That's just two yards shy of a Husker first down. They will have two more plays to crack in for the first and ten. That extra speed played big dividends there. Uh, the Oklahoma linemen were coming in from this side, but McLuhan was able to get outside of them and turn the corner anyway. Third and two for Nebraska. Two minutes and 40 seconds remaining in the third quarter. The fullback, Bruce Smith, with the first down, I believe, at about the 21. It looked like he was practically doing a cartwheel as he was hit low by one of the Oklahoma linemen and upset. But he was able to hang on to the ball. A first down at the 21-yard line of Oklahoma. The Huskers started here at about the 33-yard line, 32-yard line to be precise. Tyson in motion from left halfback. Duda keeps almost lost his footing. Goes to the 20 and inside. See how much progress he gets. They spot it back at the 20, which is a pickup of just one yard directly in front of the upright for Nebraska. 
the wind at the Huskers back. Second and nine for Nebraska. Sooners in a 6-2 defense. Trying to stop Nebraska. Unbalanced line to the right. Ken McLuhan had the ball on his fingertips and lost it. Due to trade the quick pass up on the right from his white halfback who went down and cut to the right. Couldn't hang on. Third down. Still nine for Nebraska. Huskers have passed 14 times in this game with just four completions. They've had one pass intercepted. Callahan again split out for Nebraska. Likely another passing play. Due to throws. Complete to Freeman White at the 11. It may be a first down. It's mighty close if it is not a first down. We will see. It is. First down, Nebraska. It's number four of the quarter, number 11 of the ball game. Nebraska's mixing their passes in beautifully. You never like to wait until it's a must situation. And, and here they're using them uh, on occasion when uh, Oklahoma doesn't know whether they're going to throw or run. At the Oklahoma 11, Nebraska with the first down. Late in the third quarter. Bruce Smith, the fullback, inside the 10 to the 8. Looks for a moment like there might have been a mix-up, but I don't believe perhaps there was. He was hit and then bounced off of an Oklahoma lineman. Got inside of the 9 to about the 8 and a half. It would be second down, close to 8 yards to go. 35 seconds remaining in the third period. Hesters would like another score, which would really give them a good advantage. A pitch-up, and... Was that Ross who was taken out around the five or the four yard line? Willie Ross on the far side is due to pitch out at the last second. Oklahoma's number one line goes back into the ball game. Check that. That will be the alternate line that goes in for the most part. The number two club, primarily, that has been in there on the line. Brown has come in for Nebraska at guard. Remember, he was taken up earlier in this game as well. Gary Bracacic, who had been in, goes out. Third down, two for Nebraska. A long two yards. Due to giving off inside and diving down to about the three. That was Bruce Smith, or Rudy Johnson, rather. They spotted at the two and a half. It will be fourth down for Nebraska, a yard and a half for a first down, two and a half yards for a touchdown. The Huskers likely will not get this play off before the end of the quarter. They do not. Time has elapsed in the third quarter of action. We'll hold this dramatic play for the start of the fourth quarter. The score at the end of three periods, Nebraska 10, Oklahoma nothing. Dennis Claridge is in for the fourth down play for Nebraska. The right end is split, unbounded fine, strong right Nebraska. They're two and a half yards away from the goal line and someone jumps in a hurry. I believe against Oklahoma, that may give Nebraska an automatic first down. Uh, not exactly an automatic one, but it will catch the distance halfway to the goal line. The Huskers needed about a yard and a half. The ball is spotted at the one. The officials take a look to see whether it might be a, fourth, a first down. It is going to be fourth down, and it would appear to be about six inches of a foot shy of the first down, a little bit better than a yard shy of the goal line. Hahn and Tyson are in at the halfback position. Johnson is at fullback. Clarage keeps. There may have been a fumble, I believe. A couple of the Oklahoma defensive men keyed up on that one. We could see them diving from the secondary. At any rate, it's going to be an important one. Nebraska apparently recovered. This was fourth down now. There must have been a fumble. The officials are going to measure to see if they got the first down. 
We were worried for a moment that Oklahoma may have recovered. It is good for the first down. Bob Brown jumped about two yards straight ahead when he saw that one. Now the Huskers, it would appear, have just that fumble to worry about as they try to crash the last two feet or so into the end zone. The clock running in the first 30 seconds of the fourth and final period. Clarage keeps Susan for the first touchdown. The cannon and the crowd signify what has happened. Nebraska has taken a 16 to nothing lead against Oklahoma with 14.29 to go. This capped a 32 yard drive for Nebraska. Judah will hold. Mason will attempt the extra point from the 10. The ball is spotted. The kick is long. It is good. 14 minutes, 29 seconds remain. If Nebraska holds on to the lead, it will be conference champion. The score, Huskers 17, the Sooners nothing. Larry Tomlinson again will kick out for Nebraska. He will kicking in, be kicking into the breeze, which seems to have let up just slightly. A wobbly kick may go out of bounds. It drives about the 25-yard line. The Nebraskans were hurrying down on field on this one the second time that Tomlinson has booted out of bounds. We'll see if they bring it back again and check it over, and that likely will be the Oklahoma decision. Nebraska with an eight and one record, six and zero in the conference, and Ollie, they're 14 and a half minutes away from the Orange Bowl. Yes, Bob, and that's a lot of time to play a lot of football. And Oklahoma, we know, is a great come from behind ball club. We certainly hope we don't see anything like that. And if Nebraska's defense holds as it has been, well, I'm sure we won't see it. But nevertheless, Oklahoma is a great football team, and they play right down to the wire. Talk about the defense in this game. Oklahoma has two first downs. They both came in the second quarter. The Sooners have gained 39 yards rushing. They have not gained a single yard passing so far. Kick not too long again. Bounds over the head of Tommy Pinnell, but it's picked up by Larry Shields. Shields swimming past the 40 out to the 43-yard line, and that's where the Sooners will put it in play. Nebraska on total offense, 202 yards on 149 yards rushing, 53 passing. Earlier, we were talking about the fine defensive record. Nebraska's average giving up just 100 and one tenth of a yard per game this year to opponents on the ground. That is considerably better than the team record for a season. The pass is complete. The first one for Oklahoma. Porterfield down the sidelines. Might be able to go. Callahan at the 25. Russell's in down at the 23-yard line. Miss Ben Hahn came in to help, and John Porterfield has scored two TDs against Nebraska last year. Took that pass. Had the blocking he wanted up front. Did the job that he wanted to do in running the ball. He is down at the 22 of Nebraska. And the deepest that Oklahoma's had possession of the ball today. Just as Ollie told you, the lot of time remaining. Don't count the Sooners out. They take the Griffin. They throw to the near side. Shields couldn't hang on at the 15. Bobby Page was throwing Shields, the intended receiver. Page this year coming into this game has completed 12 passes out of 37 attempts. Has had four intercepted, thrown for two touchdowns and 162 yards. The centers, second and ten. Same alignment, spot right. Page keeps the ball, put it on his hip, wanted to go up the middle, and the blast still wasn't letting. So Page was hit down by Bob Brown. Larry Kramer from his left tackle position came in to help out. That's a lot of beef. Kramer at 231, and Kramer at about 273. The professional scouts are having a great day, I would guess, in watching the Huskers' defense so far in this game. And there are numerous scouts here. Larry Shields with Page up front. He's throwing deep, and he has a man in the end zone. And Dick Callahan came from out of nowhere. It looked like Lance Wentzel was about ready to pull it in. This Callahan, he flew through the air. Bob, last year, Monty Deer was able to throw that soft pass, and... Uh, 
somehow the Nebraska defenders weren't there. But when you throw a light, soft pass like that, uh, it gives the secondary quite a chance to uh, move long distances, and that's what Callahan was able to do on that one. Now it is fourth down. Nine and a half yards to go for an Oklahoma first down. Now it's a Husker 22 yard line. Sage pitches out. They're going to throw the ball. And they throw a complete Oklahoma touchdown. That pass was completed to John Quinn, and the man who threw it was Ron Fletcher, who had not been in the ball game previously. Fletcher threw it Oklahoma shores, and Nebraska's hopes of scoring their first shot out of the year have gone out the window. This took Oklahoma less than two minutes to score after the second Nebraska touchdown. George Jarman will attempt to boost the extra point. The ball spotted at the 10. The kick is up. It is good. The scoreboard clock now shows 12 minutes and 43 seconds remaining. And Oklahoma leads Nebraska 17 to 7. Jarman kicks off for Oklahoma. The ball is taken by Frank Solich at the 10. He is out to the 25, the 26, and hit hard by Oklahoma. If we erroneously gave the score as Oklahoma 17, Nebraska 7, our apologies. It is the other way around, Nebraska leading. And the Huskers, if they've ever had a drive that has contained a lot of ball control tactics in the year, that's what they need right now. Nebraska leading 17 7, just over 12 minutes to be played in this game. Dennis Claridge at quarterback. Much of the field enveloped in the shadows now. Bruce Smith carries, gets to the line of scrimmage, possibly a little bit forward. Jarman and Flynn were both there for Oklahoma. The Sooners on their pathway that covered almost 22 yards for the touchdown went from Ron Fletcher, a 5'9 junior. He is from France, incidentally. And he threw it to John Flynn, the starting left end. Nebraska Quarry throws, completes about Hahn at the 30. He is up to the 34-yard line, and he is about three yards shy of a Husker first down. Third down coming up, a long two for Nebraska. You count it three yards to go. And this one is important to decide whether the Huskers maintain possession of the football. They're playing completely in the shadow area of the field. Hahn was hit and hit hard. Bob didn't have a chance. That was Glenn Condren. Elevated to the starting unit just this week. Of Christ, uh, Bob Hahn didn't have a chance in the world of doing anything. A loss of about four. It'll be fourth and eight for the Huskers. Bob did a good job there, just hanging on to the ball. He certainly didn't see that lineman come flying through there. This will be Dave Tyson for Nebraska to kick, standing at his own 15. Got a rush, a one-man rush, but he gets the kick away. The deep man for Oklahoma takes it. That's Wes Kitzel, and Bob Hahn hit him. Had help from Larry Kramer and Lyle Fiddler, and the ball is down at the 37, where the Sooners will play it in their own territory. Now we'll check the Oklahoma secondary. The backfield has Skidgel. He is the man wide to the right. Page is quarterback. He pitches back to Fletcher, who threw that touchdown pass. He's throwing it as intercepted. Down the sideline, Dave Tyson. Down to the 30, down to the 20, down to the 16-yard line before Ralph Haley tackles in. And a couple of tempers start the flare. In the heat of battle, this will happen sometimes. What a break for Nebraska and a big day for Dave Tyson so far. Bob, this is the play they used a little bit ago where they start to the right and throw back to the weak side. This time Dave T uh, Tyson was looking for that, and when the pass went a little awry, he was able to pick it off and run it back down deep in their territory. Nebraska just outside of the Oklahoma 15. A Hester score here would seemingly all but wrap it up. McClellan, Hahn, or Ross, rather, and Smith, and this is Smith that carries down to about the 12 yard line. Dave Royals at the bottom of the sack for Oklahoma. 
Also down there for the centers on the play was Ed McWhorters. Advanced at 12 and a second and seven for the Huskers. We'll set that backfield again for our agent quarterback. Ross left halfback. Bruce Smith fullback. Kent McLuhan at right halfback. Tomlinson and Jeter are the end. McLuhan in motion. Clary keeping. At the 10, he's down to the 5. He's inside, down to the 2-yard line. What a job by Dennis Burry. This is the play he's been familiar to us with all year, but running to the left instead of to the right. That's right, Bob. We normally see him run off this way. That time he ran off to the left. And then he has tremendous power, as was evident there again. After a couple boys hit him, he carried him another 3 yards. I think Burridge is getting more poise after his layoff than Sam suggested during the ball game. Nebraska first and goal at the center two. Nebraska leading by 10 points. Clarage gets to Ross. And there's a little huge foul up at about the one yard line. Third Willie may have gained a yard up to the one. We'll have to wait and see. He'll have three more cracks at it. Ball is just shy of the two again. Oklahoma with its largest and most aggressive lineman in there now to stop Nebraska. The Sooners have won many conference titles, but they will be denied here if Nebraska holds on to this victory. The Huskers haven't posted a league win since 1940 when they went to the Rose Bowl. Ken McLuhan near the goal line, touchdown! The Huskers get the touchdown. To push the score out to 23 to 7. And with just 7 15 remaining, this would make the Nebraska fans and the players certainly much happier. Tyson, who has a field goal, two extra points, and that key interception, will try to kick the ball here through the upright. It is spotted by Duda. The kick is off to the left, it is no good. And with 7.15 remaining in the fourth and final period, it is Nebraska 23, Oklahoma 7. The kickoff by Larry Tomlinson fails to Larry Shields at the 9. He is defended hard by Tomlinson at the 23 and just dropped the ball. And a Nebraskan, Dick Callahan, I believe, no, it is Walt Barnes, perhaps has stepped on into the leg in there. Ron Mishka hurries in and will likely replace him. There was Tomlinson who kicked off, and he was the boy who made the tackle. It looked like a hole opened up right down through the middle, and Larry wasn't blocked at all and had a good shot at the ball carrier and really upended him. Now there is time out here in the fourth quarter. Let's call that this important message from Grand Island Elevators Incorporated in Grand Island. Oklahoma's ball at their own 23-yard line. Bobby Page back to throw. Hester's four men on him. There's an interception by Kent McLuhan and Nebraska down to the 20-yard line. McLuhan had the gamble on that one, and he made the gamble pay off. But the pass rush, Bob, there was really the thing that counted. They had Bobby Page throwing clear off his heels. He just threw to get rid of the ball, and uh, McLuhan was able to come through and get it. So Nebraska's at the Oklahoma 20. A chance to eat away more of the time. Possibly get another score. Do the quarterback. He pitches out. He said Willie Ross at the 15. Down to the 10. Down to the 5. And take it out of bounds at about the one-yard line. Willie Ross down to the 1. The rambling senior from Helena, Arkansas. Joe McNulty comes in at fullback. Bruce Smith goes out. Nebraska to one. They haven't used Rudy Johnson here of late. The right end, Chuck Depke, is split out for Nebraska. Duda, hands off. No touchdown on this play. That was McNulty, I believe. Perhaps it was Ross, I believe it was Ross who carried inside of the one. Gained a foot on the play at second down. Less than a yard to go for another Hester score. Would be their third touchdown of the quarter. Fourth of the game. Duda in for the touchdown. And he had to wrangle his way away from John Garrett. 
The Huskers know that they are practically in now. 29 to 7. Who would have believed it after watching a 34 to 6 game last year when we were on the other end? This is quite a different Husker ball club, Bob. They gained a year's experience and they had revenge in heart, I believe, uh, at today's game. Duda will hold the ball. Tyson will try the extra point. He's two for three today. The kick fails off to the right. I would guess the boys are a little bit anxious at this point. The score is Nebraska 29, Oklahoma 7, 5 minutes, 43 seconds remaining. Tomlinson will kick off again. A sailing kick dropped by Pinnell at the 20. Up to the 25. Who's down to Ross to have it? The Huskers at the 30 yard line. And as we look down on the sidelines, Bud Wilkinson just rubbing the back of his neck, making some player changes, walks three or four steps onto the field. The Oklahoma man is down. It's a shield to his down. We hope that on this young man it is nothing serious. Five minutes and 29 seconds remaining. Nebraska leading Oklahoma 29 to 7. Larry Shields has come off under his own power. Duda is still at quarterback for Nebraska. Tyson McNobby and McLuhan in there. Duda wanted to pitch out and there was a fumble. Uh, Tyson was the man who was intended for it. I believe Oklahoma may have recovered at the 25. It is Sooner's ball. Nebraska getting quite anxious and quite anxious for this one to be over naturally, waiting 29 to 7, the clock running and showing 5.03 remaining. Dick Callahan comes in, Duda goes out for the Huskers. Oklahoma with Page at quarterback, gives to Larry Brown, Kyle driving fullback, going for four yards. Stop by McNobby and by Durbin of Nebraska. Second down and six for the Sooners. We see if the Oklahomans decide to go to the air now for some long bombs. Virgil Bull flanked wide right. In the slot right. This is Brown again for about three more. Trying to hang on to the ball. They've been having trouble with the fumbles and they've done anything else. They're either trying to lull us into a false sense of security here or else they're actually trying to just hang on to the ball, Bob, but uh, they aren't showing the, uh, the big play at us right now at least, but maybe they will here. Third and three for the centers. Paid back to throw. The ball was knocked loose just as he got rid of it. Monty Kiffin scrambling for it. He picked it up. Monty wanting to make certain that that play was not over earlier. An Oklahoma man down. Shields came off under his own power a while ago. This is Bob Page, the quarterback. Tommy Pinnell is going out. Pinnell quarterbacked Oklahoma on just the initial series, and that's been all. Then he suffered a broken leg before the season started. Page comes out now, but there's time out again on the field. Nebraska 29, the Sooners 7. Pennell pitches out. This is, is that John Flynn, I believe, who carried, Flynn has carried very few times on the season. It's the fourth time he's carried the ball. Had gained 10 yards previously. It's good for the Oklahoma first down, which is their fourth of the season. <laughs> Uh, of the ball game. This pass complete from Pennell up to Flynn in Nebraska territory at the 46. And as you can tell, we're uh, having trouble keeping the name straight at this point, too. Nebraska leading by 22 points. Oklahoma to Nebraska 46 in the last three minutes of this football game. Pennell throws. It is complete to Rick McCurdy. McCurdy at the 31, taken down by Kent McLaurin. The clock continues to run. He did not get out of bounds on the far side. The Husker stands on the eastern side of all standing. The boys have been out in the game are all standing. Pennell throws in and out of the hands of Flynn at about the 25. That will stop the clock and bring up the second and 10. And Nebraska brings in another unit. 
the right end will be Preston Love. Ryan Greasy will be in at right tackle. Mike Kennedy will be at a guard. Listen to the hand as the Huskers go out. Doug Tucker is in there. John Coinzan is in there. McNulty stays in. Bill Johnson is in the lineup. This is primarily third unit. Larry Brown for Oklahoma, down to the 27. This is the second and 10 play. Picked up three, Duncan Drum at the bottom of the sacks for Nebraska. Second man was John Stomeyer, Lexington ball player. Has seen only very limited duty this year. Third and six for the Sooners. Game four in the last one. They reverse. West Sigel has the ball, and he's got blocking up front. Watch out along the sideline. Sigel is gone for the Oklahoma touchdown. Oklahoma sprung the double reverse on Nebraska, and West Sigel headed down the sideline. His first score of the season. He doesn't carry the ball too much. He's carried but three times, and I believe that's the first time he's carried today. Oklahoma makes it a 29-13 game with a minute and 57 seconds remaining. Nebraska opened scoring with a field goal in the first quarter. It was still 3 to nothing at halftime. Here's Jarman's extra point boot. That is good. In the third quarter, Nebraska scored to make it 10 to nothing, and the fourth quarter's been a while in the scoring department. I score now with 157 remaining. Nebraska 29, Oklahoma 14. George Jarman will kick off for the University of Oklahoma. He may try an onside kick. That's exactly the situation. And the ball is headed down the sidelines, and Nebraska has it. That was Preston Love, who was diving for the ball at about the 24. It may have touched out of bounds earlier. Nebraska, of course, would have lost possession had Oklahoma recovered beyond the midfield strike. That onside kick must go 10 yards before the other team can recover. The ball is at 24. Nebraska will try to run out the clock. Doug Tucker at quarterback. Gives it to Gene Young for time that this Cleveland senior's been in there. And they're starting to work on the goal post prematurely here with a minute and 20 seconds remaining in this ball game. Youngsters at both ends of the field are working on the goal post. <laughs> they are appealing for the youngsters to leave them stand until the game is over. Now the policemen are moving them back. The clock has been stopped here with a minute and nine seconds remaining. You can uh, believe us when we say that the minute this game is finished, this city of Lincoln is going to erupt. You bet, Bob. Uh, certainly pandemonium will break loose. It's hard for the crowd to contain themselves. They're so overly enthused. And right now they have uh, dispersed from the north goal post, but they're still working on the south post. I guess since we're playing down on the uh, north end of the field a little bit, the officials are going to let it go on. This is where it mentioned several times will be Nebraska's first conference championship since 1940. Officially its first Big 8 conference title. They will finish the regular season with a 9-1 and one record. This is Ted Baxter. Reversing and he fumbled the ball and I believe Oklahoma has recovered. With 48 seconds remaining, Oklahoma has the ball at the Nebraska 25 and a half yard line and it's a good thing that this game is just about over. Coach Bob Devaney is leading these uh, younger boys in, Bob, even though they're making some errors and I know that uh, he feels that they've worked hard this year, that they have a chance today to get into the ball game and they rightfully deserve to get to play some. However, uh, I expect many of the partisan fans were wishing that he'd put some of the first unit back in. That is a very good observation at this point as Oklahoma has the ball at the 48. I see. We are looking at one thing, talking about another. 48 seconds remaining. They have the ball at the 25 and a half yard line. In this quarter, Oklahoma has scored 14 points, all of their scoring for the day. Nebraska has scored 19 points in this period. So we have seen just about everything in this football game. To sum it up, though, a tremendous defensive effort by Nebraska. They keyed on Brown. They throw into the end zone. It is good for an Oklahoma touchdown. West Sigel 
kicked the touchdown pass, and Oklahoma has now made it a different game. It is 29 to 20. The Sooners will probably go for two here and try to come back with that onside kick with 42 seconds to go. It would at least give them the opportunity to try to get the ball back. They don't have any timeouts left, however, and if Nebraska can cover the onside kick, why well, certainly the ball game will be over. John Garrett starts to lead the team up to the line, and apparently they had recalled him for a moment. Tommy Pinella, quarterback. Oklahoma will try to pass for the extra point, and it is intercepted, thrown into the hands of the Nebraskan Willie Pachow, playing with his third unit that is in there. And uh, for the Huskers, the number one team comes back onto the field now with 42 seconds remaining. Our score, Sooners 29, Nebraska, uh, Nebraska 29, and Oklahoma 20. George German will be kicking off for Oklahoma. Across that 50, Nebraska will try to get possession. They lose the ball momentarily. We'll have to see who got it. Of course, Nebraska has a nine-point advantage because the Sooners did not make the extra point attempt. One of the goalposts has gone down already. The other one is still upright, but not for long, I would guess. The clock is running. It shows 20 seconds remaining. Nebraska certainly in no rush. It has this one wrapped up. The fans are counting out the seconds. This will undoubtedly be the last play. Dennis Farage is the quarterback. The youngsters starting to sweep out from one end of the field. Nebraska hits into the line. Now they swarm in from other place. And the oranges by the literal hundreds are being thrown onto the field. Let's hope no one gets injured in this. Nebraska has won its first Big A championship, its first conference championship in 23 seasons, and it was a convincing victory here today against Oklahoma 29 at 20. Ali? This was uh, the finest Nebraska football team Bob I've ever had the opportunity to watch. I saw the uh, Biff Joe teams of uh, 1940 when they went to the Rose Bowl and played Stanford, and that was... Uh, a real fine football team, but certainly uh, this team today uh, falls short of no team that I've ever watched at the University of Nebraska. It's interesting to note, too, that uh, the Sooner teams from 1947 to 1959 won 72 consecutive Big 6, Big 7, and Big 8 football games, and that streak was broken by Nebraska. And here again today, after having a record of 16 consecutive wins, the University of Nebraska has again come back to beat the University of Oklahoma 29 to 20. It's one of the finest and, of course, most thrilling football games that uh, any of we partisan Nebraska fans have ever watched. Thank you, Ollie Smith, for those very fine comments, and it's a very joyous Nebraska group down on the field. The goal course, of course, are down. In fact, they're beginning to work on one up on the practice field right now. The athletes, as they left the field, are getting a tremendous ovation. Bob Brown has been on the shoulders of some of the Husker enthusiasts now for several minutes, and we see them still on the eastern side in the same situation. Willie Ross is also up. They're being carried to the dressing room. In a few minutes from the time we are talking now, Nebraska will have been issued that formal invitation to the Orange Bowl request as the Orange Bowl committee here to watch the game. Oklahoma may also be issued a bowl invitation to the Blue Bonnet Bowl and some other bowl. That will remain to be seen. We will recap briefly on what happened in the scoring department. In the first quarter, with four minutes and 19 seconds remaining, Dave Tyson kicked a field goal to give Nebraska a three to nothing advantage. It was a lead that Nebraska never relinquished. A field goal of officially 27 yards, according to our halftime statistical chart. The ball was booted from the 17. Nebraska had taken over at the Oklahoma 49 to move into field goal position. In the third quarter, after a sort of second quarter, Nebraska took over at the Oklahoma 15 after Rental had fumbled up front. Johnson went in for the score. Rudy was outstanding again today. This was with 8.47 remaining. Tyson kicked the point. It was 10 to nothing. Then the fourth quarter and a lot of fumbles, interceptions, and tremendous excitement. Oklahoma scored 20 points in the period. Nebraska scored 19. And Nebraska won the game by a score of 29 to 20. 
The Huskers, Tyson intercepted, went to the 15, McLuhan scored, Tyson got the extra point. McLuhan then intercepted, and Duda went over from the two for the last touchdown of the day for Nebraska, and the last point to set the final point total for the Huskers. Oklahoma came back and got another score. Nevertheless, Nebraska had won it. The final score here is 29 to 20. I credit today, I thanks to John McMillan for his usual fine job of keeping the statistics and doing the spotting. The photography work by Roger Shukai and Glenn May. Ollie Smith, I thanks to him for all of the comments that he has added throughout the season. Ollie, it's been a real pleasure for us to have you with us, and we hope you've enjoyed it. Bob, I certainly have enjoyed uh, adding a little color uh, to the football games, and I'd like to uh, take this opportunity to wish you well in your new venture in Wichita. We hate to see you leave, but we're happy at the same time for you and Julie because we know it's the thing that you've been wanting. Thank you very much, Ollie. This may well be our last time on a football game here in the Channel 5 microphones. We have enjoyed it tremendously the last two seasons. We hope that you fans uh, enjoyed it at times also. Now this is Bob Weirs from Memorial Stadium in Lincoln, where Nebraska has won the Big 8 championship, defeating the University of Oklahoma, and our final score was Nebraska 29, Oklahoma 20. KHAS-TV has presented... <laughs> University of Nebraska football. Commentary has been by Bob Weir. Photography by Roger Chukai and Glenn May. Film editor Ron Lobig.